guys. So today I'm going to be doing a lime crime haul. Um, yeah, I ordered some stuff on Black Friday when they were doing 30% off and it's only just came and it's now January so I don't know what's to go with that but anyway, let's just get into the haul. So the first thing that I picked up was three carousel glosses and they look like this. The packaging is so beautiful and just so much effort has been put into producing the packaging of these. So beautiful, so lovely. They have the gold, um, the gold, the purple top, and then you can see the colour through the tube. So the three colours that I bought were Present, which is this shade on the end here. The next one that I have is Candy Apple, which is the middle shade. And then for the last one is Cherry on top, and I would say this is a very, very bright red. I have it on my lips now. It doesn't go into the lips as it swatches, but I think that is just because of my natural lip colours coming through. The next item that I have to show you is the Opaque Lipsticks by Lime Crime. I already own a, a good few of these, the more wearable ones, so I thought that I'd pick up some of the more fun colours that I wouldn't normally wear because I really enjoyed the Lime Crime formulas, so I thought I would give more a go to get out of my comfort zone a little bit. So the first one that I have here, here I'm sorry, is My Beautiful Rocket, which is an orange. It looks like this. And Swatched, it is the end one right there. The next colour that I have here to show you is Quoquette, which is a nude brown, I would say, or a true nude, as some people would call it. I don't think this complements my skin tone personally, but we always have to wait to see. And that one is... Oopsie. Oh, this way. And that is the second one there. Just there. It does have a little bit of a pink hue to it, but it's more of a brownie nude than a pink nude. The next shade that I have to show you is Cosmo Pop, which is a lighter pastel orange, which is a little bit brighter. And yeah, there's not much left I can say. I can just show you the swatch now. And it is this one right here. Not that one, this one. <laughs> this one right here. And as you can see, it's a little bit lighter than the first one that I showed you. Okay, so the last lipstick that I have to show you guys is a purple. This one is Airborne Unicorn, which I think is the cutest name. And it's definitely a blue-toned purple. It is right on the end there. And I think that is as true to life as I can get it. And yeah, I'm excited to use all of these. I want to show you guys how I how I pull them off or if I like them, if I don't like them. So stay tuned for me giving you my opinions on them. Maybe I'll do a lip swatch. Let me know if you want me to do that down below. So the last products that I have to show you are the Lime Crime Velveteens. These are basically liquid lipsticks and they dry matte so they don't move. I have the three of them to show you on my hand right now. So I will go through them all. So this one is Suede Berry, which is this one here. So I would say this is more of an orangey red opposed to a true red, like the next one, which is called Red Velvet, which is just a very classic red shade. I really want to do something with this, but I'm not too sure what I want to do just yet. And then the newest one in the Velveteens collection is Pink Velvet, which is the one on the end. I do find this is probably the pinkiest out of them all. Go figure with the name. But with that said, it does still have a lot of red notes and a lot of berryness to it. So I wouldn't say it's a true pink, but I would say it's the pinkest out of them all. Um, I do wish that they brought out more shades of these. And in regards to the packaging, it just looks like this. They have the little flowers on top, and this is just frosted plastic. And the smell, it kind of reminds me of... It reminds me of, but it doesn't smell like buttered popcorn. That's what it smells like to me. If you want to see any lip swatches of any of these that I've mentioned, then just let me know and I'll be more than happy to do that. My contact information is down below, so my Instagram and my email that you can contact me on. Um, yeah, there's not really much left for me to say besides thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a good day. Bye!